I cannot believe that it is officially this time of year. Wedding season is quickly approaching. In addition to my own wedding, I also have quite a few that I am attending this year. I'm definitely trying to get my dresses on a budget. I don't like to wear the same dress more than once. I see all these TikTokers and Instagrammers sharing all these dresses from Amazon, Lulu's, Petal and Pup, and like a million other places. So I decided to order a few dresses, try them out for myself, film this video, and also share with you guys what I picked up and some wedding guest dress options in case you are looking for cute ones to wear that are on a budget as well. And let me just give a little disclaimer when I say on a budget, I guess I mean ones that are more affordable. Every one that I ordered was less than $100. I want to say majority of them were around like the $50 price range. I will make sure that I include all the links, all of the details down below in the description box. Sneak peek, I am already wearing one and I'm going to be trying them on for you guys so just for reference I am about five foot seven typically a size small but I will make sure that I include the sizes I purchased purchased that's a hard word <laughs> and all of my information down below in the description box as well so enough jabbering um let's get into the try on haul okay so this is the first one that I'm sharing with you guys today it is more of that satin material I know that this style is super trendy in this clip like you cannot see how long it is but I will make sure that I include like a side by side so that you can see where it hits me. I would categorize this as a midi length. I really like it. I really like the color. It's from Amazon. It just has these spaghetti straps and the straps are adjustable. I didn't steam it so it is like a little bit wrinkly right now but I think that this would be super cute for more of like a cocktail wedding, something that you need to dress semi-formal, especially in the summer months or if you are attending a wedding where it's going to be hot out. I think that this is super cute very classic and a great option. I did pick this up in a size small and I will say that it is a little like loose up here but then again I don't really have much going on in this region so it could be because I just don't have enough to fill it out but even though it is a little big I think it's okay because it is supposed to be a looser fit up here. Okay next up I have this pink one from Amazon. I absolutely love this dress. I think that this dress would be a great option for a cocktail or a semi-formal wedding. For me personally, I'm a little bit unsure about the color just because I never wear this color, but um, I really do think it is pretty and it comes in a lot of other pretty colors on their website and it also comes in like a black and a lot of classic colors as well. So I'm considering maybe switching it to one of those, but if you like this color, I think it would be so pretty for a spring or an early summer wedding. Not sure if you can see the bottom, but it kind of fans out a little bit like a mermaid. It's a little bit lower in the back than the front and I just think it is so cute and classic. I think the ruffles on here are such a nice touch. It makes it look girly and feminine and I also just think it is so so flattering. It really just holds everything in and it's comfortable and I really just think it is a great option. So believe it or not this dress was like $30 which is amazing because the quality is so so good. Um, I honestly would never even know. So I think that this dress would look so pretty again with white or nude heels and accessories, gold hoops. Um, I don't know, I just really, really love it. I saw this on TikTok and I purchased it immediately because I just thought that it was so cute and thought that I could wear it to a wedding that I have coming up. This is probably one of my favorite ones from the haul, so. I definitely recommend checking this one out if you are looking for one a little bit more feminine girly and you don't want to break the bank okay next up is the last one from Amazon so this one is very out of my element but I thought that it was kind of fun and cute again for like a cocktail or a semi-formal wedding dress option I should preface this I would say that every dress I ordered would be good for like cocktail or semi-formal type of weddings this one like I said is very different but I think it's fun and cute if you like like the peplum style I think that this dress would be very flattering on you and that you would like it it's strapless on this side and then has this like fun strap over here 
also with the peplum going around half of it. Also has a slit up the side, and I would, again, consider this more of a midi length. This dress comes in a variety of colors as well. I really like the color of this one. I think it's pretty, very fresh, girly, and dainty. I think it would be pretty for a summer wedding. The fabric is very similar to the last one that I had on. It has a little bit of stretch to it. Overall, it feels pretty thick and high quality, so I'm very impressed because, again, it's Amazon. I think that this would look very, very pretty with gold jewelry. I like that this dress is comfortable. You can move around in it. Um, you can dance the night away in it. I don't know. It just feels really fun, and it's quite different than a lot of the dresses that you typically see at weddings, so you are looking for something like that then i'm sure that this one would be perfect for you i am wearing a bra with it um i ordered my normal size it fits well up in here i will say though that in the waist it is a little bit big i can feel that it is like gapping a little bit but that's okay it just leaves more room for all the food that I'm probably gonna eat at the weddings. <laughs> I really like it, and I think that this dress um, could be a great option for many of you, so definitely check it out. Next up is this dress from Lulu's. This one I was the most excited about when I placed my order. It was actually out of stock in this color, and I just like watched the site like a hawk and saw that it came back in stock, and I quickly added it to my cart and checked out, but they do have it in a lot of other colors as well if it's not in stock when you go to look at it. Um, they had it in a really pretty sage I was looking at and I cannot remember the others but they did have a few. This dress was just a lot different than anything that I had seen and I really liked it. I thought like the swooping detailing was really pretty and the ruching on the front and I really like that it does have a slit but it has like this inner lining so that you don't have to worry about anything being exposed. I ordered a dress last year from ASOS and it did not have a lining and it had a slit about this high. It was very, quite interesting. <laughs> I don't know how they expected anybody to wear that in public because I'm sure people would see a little bit too much. So I definitely appreciate the liner. It also is like a swoop style, I guess. Like it's shorter in the front and a little bit longer in the back. It's very like light and airy. Um, it doesn't feel heavy, which I think is like really perfect for a summer wedding, especially in Michigan. It can get very hot and humid and the last thing I want is like a super thick material dress. So I really like that this one is a lot lighter. I am wearing a bra with it, but I think you can see right my bra is showing. I probably would get like sticky boobs or not wear a bra at all. I don't know. It doesn't have padding, so I would have to do something. I prefer to be a little covered, but I don't think that this type of bra would work. So I would say it's pretty true to size. These straps crisscross in the back and they are adjustable. So if you want it to be a little bit lower or a little bit higher, you can adjust that to your preference. I wanted mine a little bit higher, so I did that, but really it's up to you and whatever you prefer. But I really, really like this dress and I honestly think that I'm probably going to wear it to one of my weddings this summer. And I do think it would look very flattering on a lot of body types. This dress is from Petal and Pup and it is very similar to the first dress that I showed in today's haul. I think this one though is just a little bit more flattering and fits a little bit better. So if you are willing to spend a few more dollars, I would recommend getting this one from Petal and Pup, but the Amazon is also a really, really good option as well. It has a lot of the same characteristics as the one from Amazon. It has the adjustable straps. It is a midi length. It is that same satin material. It feels a little bit higher quality than the Amazon one, and it also doesn't have a zipper in the Amazon one does. So I can't remember if I purchased this in a size 4 or a small. I got it in one of those and both of them are like my normal size and I would say that it fits pretty true to size. It is very like, I don't want to say snug but it fits so I definitely would not go any smaller or any bigger. It has a slit up the back which is also really flattering and cute but it doesn't go up too high or anything. I decided to pick it up in this color just because chocolate brown is like super popular right now 
now and I love brown so I thought that it would be a fun and different color to try but if you are not into the brown um, it does come in like a gazillion colors and it also comes in like a lot of variations so I definitely recommend checking out Puddle and Pop they have like so many dresses and a lot of them would be really really good for weddings or just like wedding events. Overall I'm very happy with this dress. I think it's so cute and flattering and fun. These types of dresses look good on like everybody that I see wearing them. So I really don't think that anybody can go wrong with wearing a cowl neck satin dress. I started in a satin dress and now I'm ending in a satin dress. So those are all the five wedding dress dresses that I picked up. I think they are all super cute and all of them would be a really good option if you are a wedding guest. I'm still deciding what ones I want to keep for myself for this wedding season. I had a lot of fun filming this, so if you would like to see any more wedding guest dresses videos, maybe for more of a formal event or maybe one more casual, then give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below in the description box. Also, comment and let me know what dress was your favorite and which ones I should keep for my weddings that I'm attending. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!